जय श्री राम वेलकम टू एस्ट्रोलॉजी विद अभिलाषा टुडे वी आर कंप्लीटिंग द दारा कारक सीरीज एंड टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग मर्करी एज योर दारा कारक सो एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस एज वेल दैट विच एवर प्लैनेट्स होल्ड्स द लोएस्ट डिग्री और आल्सो द प्लैनेट व्हिच होल्ड्स द लोएस्ट मिनट व्हिच एवर एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल टेक्निक यू फॉलो कैन बिकम योर दारा कारक सो यू कैन फॉलो आइदर ऑफ द पाथ बाय द uh calculation of the lowest degree that planet can also become your dara karak but if you believe that which i personally believe that the minute minute based dara karaka works better so that can also be applied so first you compute whichever uh, planet is having the lowest degree or minute and after applying it if you think and if it comes to the conclusion that mercury is becoming your dara karak what kind of a person as your partner you would like that is what all i'll be describing in this video and what all be the prominent features in your spouse if mercury happens to be dara karak in your chart first and foremost mercury is the smallest planet in among all the planets it is closest to the sun as well so whenever uh, you see mercury you should not see it in singularity that is what i have observed uh, while checking various chart you should always see it in alongside the sun so sun and mercury will never be more than 28 degree apart so that is very prominent about this planet mercury you should always check the influence of sun over it now when this planet becomes your dara karak you will definitely look out for a spouse who is very communicative communication hold a very important place in your mind whenever you go out to choose a partner friendship will be very pivotal in your relationships so a very communicative person who is very friendly outgoing and who will have multiple kind of hobbies this kind of a person will always grab your attention or this is the kind of a person which will eventually come into your life and this relation can conclude into marriage because these are the traits which mercury denote mercury governs whatever we communicate in our day to day life specifically online communication paperwork all of this is dominated by the planet mercury so it is very much possible that you might meet your spouse in today's world in an online scene through an online uh, meeting platform this is also very much possible if mercury happens to be a dara karak or if mercury is associated with the dara karak as well this can be one of the common trait which you can see beside you liking a communicative uh, extrovert friendly spouse you would also expect your spouse to be good with finances and this will be the attribute as well in your spouse if mercury becomes your dara karak you can be rest assured and if mercury is well placed you can be rest assured that you will get a spouse who can guide you in financial matters who can help you in your futuristic plans who can uh, always advise you how to improve your social skills because mercury if we can associate a planet uh, to the happening socialite it should be mercury mercury is the most social planet among all the planets a person with a good close knitted friend circle multiple hobbies interesting way of communication who loves to have um humor in his or her communication is denoted by the planet mercury 
mercury should be highly placed well placed in the chart of a person who happens to be your spouse or who holds the possibility to become your spouse you will see that the sign of gemini the sign of virgo and mercury is very prominently placed in the chart of your spouse either they can be a gemini ascendant a gemini sun or a gemini moon or virgo for that matter or uh, their moon or sun is placed in mercurian navamsha as well that can be one of the trait you can check if that is the case they can be an idol partner for you if you are interested in somebody you should and you happen to check their horoscope as well you should see how your darakaraka is playing a role in their own horoscopes now beside being this all the goody goody stuff there is also a bit of con associated with mercury mercury is a planet which is the fast moving one all right and this also reflect in the attitude of the person which happens to be a spouse they do not like to stick to something say a project or even a person for very long so you have to grab their attention in order to sustain the relationship so you have to be constantly working you have to be constantly very spontaneous innovative and creative even in your relationship which i think sometimes happens to be a task in itself all right always being a very humorous a uh, very creative very spontaneous is not a easy task for everyone all right so this is a bit of con side of having mercury as a tarakarak to retain the attention of your spouse you have to really work hard they themselves might have multiple hobbies they might be interested in finances or might be working in the field of finances teaching editing journalism or even artist i would say because we say budhen kalavati which actually translates into english as mercury is an artist so artistic attributes creative attributes uh, some they would always like to present something or do something even if it is a household task in a very creative way and they will appreciate the same kind of creativeness from you as well even if you simply go out for a date they would ex expect something a uh, really funny fancy so you have to work in that field as well uh we also say that mercury denotes a young person just like for saturn we say that if saturn becomes your darakaraka you might get an old person and similarly if mercury becomes your darakaraka you might get attracted to a very younger person to you but i would say you should not associate this uh, concept of young and old just to the numbers just to the age you can and you should also associate this uh, concept of being youthful or being mature to the mentality of the person so you might fall in love you might marry a person of your own age if mercury is your darakarak but they will always have a very youthful disposition a very youthful mind a mind a heart which never accepts to go grow old all right they will always be full of life so we should not only associate this to the age we should also associate it to the way they live life they will be always full of the full of fire full of the adrenaline rush full of uh, doing stuff with most most uh, exciting manner in a most exciting manner that would be the trait unlike saturn all right so this is the concept which you should follow just not looking out for a person who can be too young to you 
this can also be an attitude attribute beside this uh, communication in your relation will hold a very special place we also say that mercury is equally or even more deceptive than the planet rahu because it you cannot understand what is going in a my in the mind of a person who is dominant by mercury it is very hard to understand because they run multiple theme inside their mind so it is very hard to nail it down what they actually are thinking so this also sometimes become a facet where you feel cheated in the relationship so that is a downside of having mercury as dara karak because because it's become very difficult to understand what is actually going into the mind of your spouse or your partner because they can easily change their outlook they can easily portray themselves to be somebody which they are actually not that is also a mercurian trait um uh, there is also a saying or a concept associated with mercury that mercury is a eunuch but mercury is a female eunuch unlike saturn saturn is also con uh, considered as a eunuch but that is a male one here mercury is associated with a female version but this feminine trait of mercury will be seen through the qualities of the sign virgo all right like in problem solving attitude like in situations of difficult time a person dominant with mercury would act like a female they might sometimes get very coy even if they are a male person if mercury is dominant so they show their female side through the sign of virgo and their male masculine side through the sign of gemini all right so these are some of the more intricate things which you will get to understand once you get deeper into astrology but i will keep it up to this only uh, for this video but there are many many facets which you can use to understand the psychology which is given to a person through a planet all right even uh, when we think about mercury we should uh, see the attribute of the metal mercury which is so fast moving it does not stay at one place so that is the similar attribute which is given to this planet as well it does not like to stick at one place it is very fast moving which means that their uh, interest does not stick to one person for a long time you have to grab it and you have to work for it so that is all for this darakaraka series specifically mercury but uh, i would say that even uh, sometimes if your mercury is afflicted and you happens to meet somebody who looks like a prospect to you but the mercury is afflicted and you happens to meet that person online be very cautious in moving forward because this can also land you in some kind of trouble so be very watchful when mercury becomes your prominent planet uh, people can be interested in you also because you have a financial stable status so you have to be very watchful only in the case when mercury is associated with a malefic planet only in that case otherwise mercury as a darakaraka is a very beautiful planet because because it keeps you young throughout life and that is a good point in today's world all right jai shri ram see you in another video